What's going on everybody? I want to start out by wishing you all a happy Memorial Day weekend and what better time to get into customization on the new CTS-3 than this weekend, right? I should have done this before but what I want to do is I want to go through the CTS-3 monitor and I want to create a custom red, white, and blue themed gauge scheme um, and I want to show you guys how to do it. So we got the monitor fired up and I already went through and I chose the screen layout. So there's a few different options for the layouts, but I chose this one because I wanted you guys to really see how the analog style gauges worked on this monitor. And I already went through and I set up the PIDs um, also because I already have a video showing you guys how to do that. So I went with boost for my main gauge, got speed down here. This is the EGT probe. This is fuel rail pressure. And I went with all those because those are pretty common on what you're going to look for. And also those are going to be real, really reactive gauges. So over here we have intake air temp, barometer, engine temp, APP, which is, that's accelerator, pedal position, or percentage, and engine RPM. So we already did all that. Now what I want to do is I want to start theming this thing in red, white, and blue. And the first thing I want to do, and let me let me start by saying, I really like this monitor. There's really not much I don't like, but I'm going to show you one thing I'm confused about more than anything on why it's done that way. So, you think when you want to change your theme or you want to customize, you scroll down, you have your theme settings, right? You want to go into there. Well... We already have a wallpaper set. We were playing with it when we got it, right? So we already got that. But if you wanted a solid colored background like we do today, you have to scroll up and you have to go into settings. And then you would think you'd go into device settings, but you don't. There's device colors, which is totally different. Background tint color, and she's white. And we're not going to choose change the key line colors because in this gauge setup, the screen setup, you don't see the key lines. So I'm going to keep it that way. So we have our white background, and obviously, white on white isn't going to work. So now, now we can go into theme settings. So our alert zone color, our alerts are perfect in red. Our warning colors, which normally you'd have yellow, and it makes sense, we're gonna do those in blue. And, okay, let we go back. So our major ticks, our major ticks are the ticks, well, the main ticks that the numbers are on. We're gonna do those in blue. Let's try blue. Let's go back. Minor ticks, those are the smaller ticks in between. We're gonna do those in red. Let's go back again. Major tick label. Mm, it's red, the numbers, right? I would rather the numbers be blue. I think that's gonna be easier for me to see. Eh. Yeah, let's try it in blue, see how we like it. Value labels. Um, also going to do that in blue. The value labels, if I'm not mistaken, are the digital readouts. No. Let's try that in red. Let's see what it looks like in red. Go back. Label color. Yeah, red's good. Unit color. Blue. Blue. Go back. Don't leave this screen without saving. I want to save. Come on. So, there is our main setup. It's really easy. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I like the way everything lays out. And it does its own, cert its own special tinting. So it's not like you just have a solid white and you kind of have a tent around here and tent in here and it looks 
pretty good to me. But another thing you could do, so let's go into EGT. So let's set that up. We're going to set there's max value. Da -da. Let's add a major. No. Do I want any more minor ticks? Eh. Eh. See, so you can add them. See that? Uh, yeah, let's add some. And then alerts. Okay, we have our warning value. There, alerts. There, see that? Uh, 1360, 1530, sure. Make sure we save that. So now you're gonna see that up in the corner, right? Of the screen, that, that's how you know you're gonna get close to your alerts. Um, so that's, that's the layout, but there's, okay, one more thing I wanna show you before I set you guys up and we go drive this thing. Um, I tried showing the, the LEDs on a prior video and it didn't come through because I was playing with it after that and there's some settings for that too, so wanting you guys to see that let's do this real quick let's take our boost and this is just to show you guys what this does and let's go whoops let's go to basic pids app save that for a second so this is like i said accelerator pedal percentage or position um let's do this Max values at 100, right. Minor ticks, don't care. Major ticks, let's add some values so you guys can kind of see what's going on. I kind of like even numbers, but whatever. We'll go with that. Add some minors just for, just for the hell of it. Let's go here to alerts. Let's set the warning to 60%. Save that. Alert, 80%. This is just for demonstration. We're going to turn all that on. Save it. And I'm doing the APP because I can show you that without the motor running and doing crazy things. So, accelerator position, right? Play with the pedal. Now, when we get to our blue, when we get into our yellow, nothing's going to change. We're just going to know it, right? So, watch this. Once we touch that red, See those lights blinking up top? It really does a good job of giving you your alerts and whatnot. But I'm gonna show you guys, let me see. Let's go back into here. Double tap that. Advanced. Intake. Boosties. Oops, oops, oops. make a little more than five pounds we got to go change it back no you thing boost so settings uh, max value this thing makes well I don't have the attachment for the boost yet so it only reads 36. We're going to set it to 40. Uh, we have... There we go. 11 majors and 4 minors on boost. Save that. So in order to uh, set up your lights... Whoops. I don't want to do that either. Gonna swipe up, damn it. It's not a very good showing on this thing right now. Fucking thing. Settings. Display settings. You have your day, night, whatnot. This this one's the important one right here though. LED brightness. This is your these guys. So I 
from the factory, I'm pretty sure that she was at 25%, right? Here's your little demonstration on it. Let me go up in percentage. I just go straight to 100%. Saves, go there. The one confusing thing to me about why you had to change that percentage on your light, maybe people don't want it so aggressive, right? Let's say, use that. The way I think about it is if they want to put that feature on a monitor to alert me of something, I want it bright. I want to know. Not only is it going to squeal at me and give you all sorts of messages, but the, the five lights across the top are just an added bonus. I want to make sure that those are really obvious. So if you have one of these and you want to do that, there you go. Make sure you change that setting. So now that we got our display set up, we're going to set the camera up and we're going to go for a little cruise. You guys are going to see how reactive and how good the analog style gauges work on this monitor. <clears throat> Here we go. We're gonna see what this thing looks like. guys well i hope that helped um hope i helped you guys go through the customizations um now if you wanted to get even deeper you could take this in your house plug it in your computer and uh load up some backgrounds that you want and go from there but i wanted to show you guys how to do it with the factory features which is basically what what it is factory features um so as always, I want to thank you guys immensely for watching if you've watched this long. Um, subscribe if you haven't, like the videos, and um, I just I just really appreciate it. I do. I appreciate you guys watching. Um, your feedback, if you have any questions, please feel free. Let me know down in the comment section below. I love seeing them. Um, but that's that. Uh, have a happy Memorial Day weekend, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.